Well, what have we here? Um, you know, I got, I don't, I guess I saw him on Instagram. Brother, one knife, one life, one wife, probably not going to have a life. And <laughs> not if she catches you by too many knives. And here you go. Um, brother, and I, okay, at first, start the story out. The 1503 is what I got. Okay, VG10, the 1503, 1503, okay. Um, carbon fiber, really nice done. You, maybe you've seen my review on this, maybe you haven't. And then it's got, you know, uh, bronze washers in here somewhere if you can see them. And I can't see them right off, but... They say in their paperwork, that's what it is. And, you know, like like I was watching, boom. I mean, that is a drop away. Whew. Uh, really nice. I mean, these are like $32, $35 shooter, right, in VG10. I had uh, actually had this one tested, and it was uh, 57.8. Uh, so almost a 58. And for VG10, that's that's okay. Um, this one, I haven't had tested. I haven't had time to send it in to do anything with it. But once I saw the 1503, I started looking at their other knives. That's what I'm trying to say. And so I saw this one, VG10. And I thought, wow, this is like my Carta. What are they doing here, folks? Uh, with this nice stainless bolster and all this. And it's a lock back as well. Lanyard hole. You, I mean, you don't need a pocket clip, by the way. <laughs> if you need one for this, then you need one for every case knife or whatever. Uncle Henry charade. You know, traditional knife. No, you don't. So, uh, this just slides in your pocket. And I thought it was really interesting with this micarta. Um, so, I got this one, too. So, this is the one I'm going to tell you about today. Here, and it comes in a basically a Spyderco box, right? If you've ever had a Spyderco, then this is what the Spyderco box looks like. They're the same box right here. Uh, they probably both have their boxes made in China, and they're both the exact same kind of box. Now, but um, this one, they give you a, uh, like a burlap uh, pouch, and then like an inner bag, and there's some other it's crazy shit in here. Hold on. Yeah, it was wrapped up in this tissue and in this here and then in this here and then just a little piece of foam. And of course, these boxes fall apart as badly as the Spyderco boxes do. So congratulations on that one. But I just thought it's interesting that they put it in this. I mean, this sucker... Look at how small this knife is. I mean, it's just, it's tiny, okay? And uh, this bag could fit one, two, three, four of these. So it's, it's a little insane. But, I mean, that's the way all these suckers are, the 1503. And now I just got in the 1507, which is funky wild and it's a lock back as well with carbon fiber and they're all running about 35 bucks and really smooth let me see if this will drop like yeah and i just don't want to swing around and hit my thumb so that's why i'm dropping it onto the box drop it like it's hot boom just like that and yes and that yeah they, they say they're bronze washers in there i can't take it apart obviously because it's like a lot of traditionals are they just got these pins through here? So, you know, but this one's a little off center, I guess. And it'd be hard to say that. Yeah, there, now it's centered. <laughs> it's about like a lot of uh, traditionals are. Let's see this one. Oh, that's, that's pretty close. That's right at it. Or, you know, so open, close. Yeah. This one, yeah, it's pretty doggone close. Nail nick opening, and does it drop? Yeah, of course it does. Really smooth, very smooth, very smooth. Can I one hand it? 
yes, I can one hand it. In closing, I can one hand it. So yes, you can one hand this knife technically. Uh, very small though, not that big. What else have I got hanging around here? Oh, well, I've got something that's smaller probably. My little damn designs. Oni, and it is smaller. Two inch blade here, five overall, five inches overall, and that is smaller. Let's see, got my little lightweight Para 3 from DLT. And it looks like a monster, doesn't it? Uh, the Para 3 is not that big, but it's a lot bigger than this sucker is. So let's take a look, see. See what we got. I got a print off of my... They had two and a half inch, two and a half inch blades. So about 65 millimeters, six inches overall. Oh, 15, a little over 15 millimeters. Blade stock, what do you guess? Three millimeter? Yeah, probably 0.116. Yeah, three millimeters. Overall fatness, 11.1, 0 .1, 0 0.43, 0 0.44. So, yeah, it's comfortable in the hand. I kind of like this little design cue here. Um, it's a three finger knife. And it's a lockback. So remember, it's a lockback. It's not a slip joint or a friction folder. It's locked into place. Nice. Nice. Will it cut a damn thing? Let's see. How about this piece? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. that I wasn't ready quite ready for that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw one guy um, did something. You know, it was a feedback on that knife store on Ollie. And, uh, yeah, he was, he was saying it was really sharp out of the box. Let me see. I got a, <clears throat> see, it's called Knife Center Store on Ollie. And, of course, uh, during the 11-11 sale, you know, and that's like November 1st through November 11th, I believe. Um, Oh, sale starts November 11th? Well, it's been going on, apparently. But here you go, $32, or $30.72 for this knife, instead of $32. So, that gives you a little bit of information. Pause and read on here. Obviously, the 1505 Crayfish. And Micarta Scales, etc., etc. Supposed to be 60 to 61 HRC. I don't know. We tested the other one. It was barely 58. So I don't know that it's going to hit a 60 to a 61. Also on the next page it says steel bolster, steel liner, but a copper washer. Here you can pause and read. It gives you a little bit of background on the store and their brand, which is kind of nice that they do that. Look, see inside their factory. They got all kinds of stuff in here. And, you know, some of the feedbacks, they've all been five star on here. You know, so these guys that have been, you know, giving feedback, I haven't done this yet, but uh, they all look like they're happy. So, uh, I, I, you know, check out their uh, Instagram site. And I'll give you a link to their Instagram site. You can direct message them through there. They'll respond. Uh, I have messaged them that way. Yeah, that is smooth. That is just smooth. Nice little knife. Uh, I think you saw the specs, but we'll throw it on the scale. 78.3, so that should be about, what, two and a half ounces? Oh, 2.76, okay. Interesting, I just thought, thought I'd put it out uh, on camera because it's really cool. I like these brother knives. This one is going to Sweden. Linus will be coming by from Sweden. He's gonna visit. And I'm holding this knife for him because he wants it really badly. This is probably the only knife they allow you to even possess in Sweden. But 
giving him a hard time. But yes, and you know, this is the 1507, so check that out. If you want a little bit bigger knife, look at that. I like this 1507. Look at the, yeah, the fuller on the one side, which is like an extended nail nick, really, but uh, smooth. And that's pretty well centered. That's pretty well centered. And just for shits and giggles, let's put a tape to it. So, okay, so you got a three and a seven. You got a three and a seven. So, yes, this is the same size as the para three. So, there you go. These are equal here. And just like this little sucker here. Where's my little mini doman? That kind of thing. Equal. Pretty close, the same exact size. So this is actually a pretty decent size knife. And I really like the design on this 1507. I'll be talking about this another time. So I'll leave you to it. It's just, uh, they're fascinating knives. Uh, so far, so good. I have another one that's a titanium model. It's a little out there, but I'll be talking about that later. Uh, so it's... It's a whole different thing. It's not a traditional looking knife like these. All right, I'm going to let you go. Take care. You know what we do. We love them knives. See you guys. Stay sharp.